What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to let you know about my Nexus 7 Nightmares. So as you guys know, and you could probably tell from my Nexus 7 video that I did the unboxing, I was extremely excited to get the Nexus 7 tablet. Literally couldn't wait to get this thing in my hands, test out the build quality, the operating system, see Jelly Bean in action, and just you know have a general kind of play around with this sort of seven inch form factor. Now when I got it, it was perfectly packaged, no problems with that whatsoever. Got it from the Google Play Store and it came pretty much on time. But then I turned it on, got into it, started playing around, locked the screen, went to unlock it and got myself a bit of a major issue and I'll show you exactly what that was. I literally couldn't do anything on the screen. Even if you hold down the power button and actually go to press this and you can see, you can hear I'm pressing it, um, it just doesn't do anything. So the screen literally has stopped responding altogether. Now, I thought, oh, this is going to be an absolute nightmare, and a nightmare indeed it was. First of all, I phoned Asus, got through to them after an hour of waiting on the phone at a premium rate as well. It wasn't a free phone call. They eventually gave me a dead on arrival reference number, which I then had to ring up the Google Play Store and get hold of them and give them that reference number. And then after a massive long conversation with them, they finally agreed to replace my device. But when I did that, they actually told me it's gonna take a week for them to get back to me. And still to this date, they have not got back to me with that kind of return advice that I'm gonna to get to be able to return this advice and get a new one. So I've got this brand new Nexus 7 tablet and I've now got to wait weeks and weeks and weeks to get a replacement device, which has really kind of annoyed me really, to be honest. I think it's not good enough in terms of the customer satisfaction. And you know, when people say to me, why do you always buy this Apple equipment? If this was an Apple device, I could just walk back in the store and get another one same day, no problem whatsoever. I've done it loads of times with iPads and iPhones phones and Macs in general had no problem. This rigmarole that you have to go through to get a replacement device when you've been really, really excited to get it is an absolute nightmare. Now one thing that I have worked out which is quite peculiar and I kind of put it to one side and didn't touch it but I really wanted to kind of play around with it was that if I actually flex the device, if I kind of bend it as much as I can which sounds absolutely ridiculous but you can see I'm kind of bending it now. Um, let's just do it both directions. After a little while of doing it, you can now see I've got into the device and now the touchscreen for quite a while will work absolutely perfectly. So I have actually been able to use the Nexus 7 but I've had to bend it to make it work which sounds absolutely ridiculous but it does actually work. And then the only problem with it now is I get this screen flickering. But Hopefully Google will get back to me in the next few days and allow me to return this device and get a new one. Very, very disappointed that I haven't been able to use this in the way that I've wanted to. And the kind of, the fact that it's been faulty, the drama I had to go through to actually get this thing replaced and returned, the money it cost me, has really put a whole dampener on the entire experience. But having said that, in the time that I have been able to use it, I've absolutely loved it. I don't know if it's the form factor or what, but I've absolutely loved the Nexus 7, really, really enjoyed using it. It's just really kind of dampened my spirits in terms of the fact that I've had to spend a whole bunch of money on premium phone calls getting this thing replaced, and the fact that you had to kind of go over it 10 times with 10 different people about what the problem was, when clearly all I had to say was the touchscreen stops responding done deal, I don't see what the issue is with that. But now, like I say, if you bend it, everything springs back into action and it all starts working again. So I'm just hoping that I get that email fairly soon from Google and I can kind of put that experience behind me and move on. But it has been a bit of a nightmare. Anyway guys, I thought I'd let you know about my experience in case anyone else is having the same issue with their Nexus 7. There has been a whole bunch of stories that have come in with build quality issues and things not working. And obviously you do expect certain things like that not to work on a brand new device. I just wish that there was a bit of a better process that you could go through in terms of actually getting this thing replaced. Anyway guys, 
Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and I will see you all, hopefully, in a happier video very, very soon. See ya.